When Ryan Brady walked up to this ATM, everything looked fine to the naked eye, but he had an inclination to check it out anyway, and it's a good thing he did. There you go. This video posted to his Facebook page acts as a public service announcement. Viewed hundreds of thousands of times, Brady doesn't want to show his face or get any credit for the helpful tip, but he suggests examining the card reader every time. If it moves at all, there's some sort of issue with the ATM. Um, this one, when I pulled on it, it didn't move, but also if you squeeze them, they're not supposed to flex at all. So I squeezed it, and at that point, it started flexing a little bit. I pulled on it a little bit harder, and uh, I realized that there was another card reader behind the actual card reader there. In the video, you can see police officers prying off a card skimmer super glued onto the facade of the Citibank ATM inside of a Seaford 7 Eleven. I caught up with shoppers outside. I don't even know what to even look for. You know, it looks real. Also recovered by investigators a pinhole camera with a transmitter secured right above the keypad used to capture unsuspecting victims' fingers entering the personal identification number. Now you can't even trust the machine. The devices are now in the hands of police officers who are investigating. People will try to scam money. It's, they should be prosecuted immediately. Brady says everyone can help curb this scam. Hopefully, uh, more people will notice what to do, how to do it, and find some more of these things so we can put a stop to it. Lesson learned next time you hit the ATM, make sure you pull and pry to ensure nobody's taking aim at your personal banking information. In Seaford, Long Island, Magdalena Darris, CBS 2 News. Former FBI agent Manny Gomez says anyone can buy skimmers online, adding legislation should be put in place to stop the unrestricted sale of the devices.